Matt Potter and Tony Henderson. As we are underway in Winston-Salem, it'll be Duke that starts with possession. Along with close to 10 threes made per game. For the Blue Devils, a tough start to the month of February, 0-3, but then responded really well with a win. You know, Coach K said, look, we must though, defend the three-point line against Wake Forest. For the freshman to come in and play like he was promised to. Teeing up Oguama here. Oguama gets Williams in the air and cashes in through the contact. Back inside to Williams, trying to answer on Oguama, and he does. Mark Williams showing off the low post move. Duke defense has come to play again. And Coach K says that's the recipe to get some wins down the stretch. Extra pass pays off. DJ Stewart drills it. That time set his teammate up for a wide open look. Step back three, DuBose hits it. How about Ian DuBose? Some easy opportunities. Oguama inside, bodying up with Williams again. Count it, plus the foul. They've won three of their last six. This is a Demon Deacons team, remember, that had a month-long shutdown due to a COVID outbreak that derailed the non-conference part of their schedule. Carter Witt steps into a three and hits it. The freshman Carter Witt beats the buzzer from deep. A guy so young and, you know, starting in the ACC, defensively you can tell, Jay, he's gotten better. Uh, but that right there, him knocking down jumpers on a consistent basis, that's going to be huge uh, for Wake Forest. And sound, uh, offensively balanced, but... Yeah, I think the big improvement, really, Jay, has been defensively. Uh, they've been pretty good against opposing teams. Breakfield attacks the rack again. Jamin Breakfield. Their offensive rebound from Wake Forest. Open three, Williamson. Can't hit it. Breakfield the rebound. He's doing everything for Duke right now. And Wendell Moore Jr. pushes the tempo and cashes in for two. Or in the half court. Don't settle for jumpers. Try to get to the basket. Ian DuBose, a much-needed bucket. That's what he's good for. Yeah, and obviously, you know, there's been some postponements. Uh, so, obviously, you know, getting games in also is going to be a key factor as we take a look. Players this season. Witt loses a handle. Goldwire drops it up ahead. Denied at the rim, and guess who's there to clean it up? Jordan Goldwire. The steal and the score, a hustle play from the senior. Defense into offense, seven points off turnovers. Inside to Mark Williams, has a guava in the air, muscles his way to the rim and it rolls down. Stewart decides to take it himself, uses the window for two. Duke is dominating right now, doubling up Wake Forest 26 to 13. 15 to 2 Blue Devils run in the last six minutes. Looking for more. Goldwire three. He's got it. Everything going down for Duke right now. And he said, look, I felt one that was not getting enough tension is uh, a black man uh, was the architect behind Cameron Endor. And you know, really just a phenomenal story and one that go to the undefeated and look at other stories like this as well. So just phenomenal. Matthew Hurt is red hot right now. Step back three. Hesitation from Williamson. Scoop to the hoop for Davey and Williamson. Much needed bucket. That was a big bucket for Wake. Inside Mark Williams. Count it plus the foul. Well, what it does is it allows Matthew Hurt to go and play the four more often. And he becomes even a bigger matchup problem as Wake. Wendell Moore Jr. fading away and he hits it. Away jumper by Wendell Moore. And you know, sometimes you gotta live with that. There's three guys right there on the help. Blocked from behind by Breakfield. Will be the acting head coach on the Demon Deacon sideline. Williamson lost the handle. Here's DJ Stewart. Makes it himself. 
count it plus the foul, DJ Stewart. Extra pass to Isaiah Musius who knocks down the open look. Uh, really impressive to see his progression uh, from the first time he set foot on the court to now. Matthew Hurt makes Wake Forest pay. Can't leave that man open. They're starting to figure it out, in particular, Jay, defensively. Wake Forest goes inside to Odie Oguama, who gets the better of Mark Williams there. And what a beautiful set play by Wake Forest to open up the second half. A lot of cross-screen action and a nice little jump hook by Obama. Nice job adding some rim protection, I think, on both the offensive and defensive glass. That's where he does most of his damage. Matthew Hurt continues to do damage. Hurt again. He's red hot. Matthew Hurt knocking down everything right now. Outside of their rhythm. Inside to Hurt, contested, and it rims in. That is good defense from Wake Forest, that it doesn't matter. Showed off the three-point range that time, get him in the post, back a guy down, and then shoot a little step back off balance. Uh, that's just... Inside to Hurt again. That one's the easiest two of the night. 21 points, five shy of a career high. Extra pass there to Goldwire. Three seconds left on the shot clock, and Jeremy Roach scoops it up and puts it in. Yeah, and I would have definitely guessed North Carolina would have been the most common opponent for uh, so Certainly, fun little fact right there. 1906, that game actually played in Wake Forest, not Winston-Salem. Offensively, ball moving left to right, and then that's just a unselfish play uh, by Jordan Goldwire for the finish by Mark Williams. Job that those guys do, Nate James, uh, and in particular Nate James, the job that he's done with Mark Williams, uh, his improvement really has been impressive. Uh, Duke's practice, we spoke with Coach K via Zoom, and he just seemed really relaxed. And you're right, Jay, that's exactly what he said. As Wake Forest is able to knock down a three. John Antonio cashes in on a three. They call him the Australian microwave. He can heat up in a hurry. Expect this Wake Forest team to continue to battle. That has been the theme, you know, all season long with this Steve Forge team. Uh, these guys have played hard uh, no matter what the circumstance so I don't see you know many teams having an easy out with them and then look they've been impressive start to finish I wouldn't want to play this Blue Devils team right now and remember this is a Wake Forest team that took Florida State uh, to overtime Oguama almost got his hands on another offensive rebound Baker contested three and he hits it. How about Joey Baker? Extra pass wide open. Williamson and he makes two back. In the rafters here, Joel Coliseum. How much does it help her to be playing the four with the emergence of Williams at the five? Uh, it's huge and it creates more matchup problems as. Still not really sure what he was arguing, but Wake has been without their first-year head coach, and Duke continues to capitalize. Do you have one memory in particular going against his Georgetown team? Well, my best memory was in the conference tournament, he came up to me and he talked to me about something unrelated to basketball, that you talk to them about life after basketball, and I never forgot that. So uh, for me, it was really stuck out that uh, he cared more about me I think Wendell Moore is just trying to make a statement right there but great look inside and Isaiah Musius beats the buzzer Wake Forest continues to battle without their 
Head coach Steve Forbes on the sideline. He has transformed this program. Controlling the pace and tempo of this game. There's a great example of it, and it leads to another one. Joey Baker. Left no doubt tonight. Followed up a convincing win on the road against NC State with an 84-60 thrashing of Wake Forest.